Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a really you know, cool review today for you guys, and I've been talking about this quite some time now. And I did mention it in my previous videos and stuff in my Urban Decay videos. Which, if you have not seen my Urban Decay 15th anniversary palette, make sure you guys check it out. And I'll leave the annotation right here for you guys, or and I link it down below in the information box. Check it out if you guys haven't, because it's a great review. So let's not no waste any more time. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm reviewing about. And it's this. Ta -da -ta -da which is the Temp2 Airbrush Makeup System. And I've been talking about this for a long time. I've been reading about this like since it first, like, um, what is it, came out. And I was debating so much about it because, you know, um, I don't know, it's, at first I felt like it's so complicated. It, it seemed really high tech. And I am like in love with it, like electronics and stuff, but when it comes to makeup, I don't know, I feel like uh, I don't really know the system well enough to spend like because it retail for um, $225 and I was like I don't know if I want to waste that much money so that's why so this is a great product and I have to say it's one of the best investment um, I read so much about it I didn't went out and buy just because it's cool I read a lot about it I watch a lot of video um, on it the reviews and everything before I make my decision of purchasing this um, product. In case this video get extremely long, I'm gonna cut this video into two parts. And one part gonna be, you know, demonstration of how I apply the foundation, the blush, and the bronze on. And the other part, I'm gonna be giving you guys a little review of what I think about the system itself and um, the products itself. This is how the box looks like. And when you open it, um, they have the you know the step the instruction and there's a CD right there for you guys you know show you guys if you are newbie at it and you want to um, watch and as for me I didn't bother watching because I actually you know watch YouTube and of like showing you how to apply and stuff so I already know how the whole thing work before I've been purchased this so I didn't really went in and read the instruction which you know I should do but I don't know, I hate reading, so I skipped that. Um, so this is how um, the box looks like and stuff. And inside, it comes with your, this is the airbrush machine. This thing right here, this um, cord right here is your power cord right there. Come off, which is where you rest your, um, what is it, your airbrush majiggy. And this is the mom. I don't know the machine or whatever you call it, the dial to turn on um, your airbrush system and this is the handle this um, what is it wire not wire the tube thingy where the air is coming um, out is removable on each end and you just plug it in here and you plug um, this part into the handle and this is how it looks. It's very small, very compact. It does not take up a lot of space on your vanity whatsoever. And I'm just going to place it down. Also, um, in the box, it comes with this thing right here. Say Temp2 on it. And um, at first, I didn't know what it is. But then I realized it's where you rest or um, put your, uh, what is it, your foundation pod or your blush pod, all that good air pod thingy, which what is the pod? Um, AirPod is this. This is how it look like. AirPod, this is your foundation. This is your bronzer. And this is your blush. So, this is what I put on here. I put my foundation, my bronzer, and my blush. And I rest it right next to, like, to the Temp2 machine which is where I know all my foundation and I like my temp to system and just go straight at it and just you know work from there. So I love that. It's look it's and plus it looked really cute on my vanity. How do you connect your pod onto the handle? Easily. This is how your pod look like. Make sure you shake them really really well. I like to shake them, especially every use. I just shake them like this. I take it out, just slide it out. You see how easy it is? Slide it out. And when you close it, you hear the noise like that. So take it out. And every pod comes with this thingy majiggy right here. This thing is for you to put it into this air hole right here. 
and you just tore it. The reason why you do this is because you want some air to come in or else um, it won't come out just in case your foundation doesn't want to come out because it's clogged or whatever. After you do that, take the handle, put it in. Did you hear that little click? Meaning it's already in. Push the handle down and that's it. And it's already in. So you can see how easy it is. And just turn on. And there's air coming out. There's nothing come out. There's nothing will come out unless you pull the trigger right here, then the foundation come out. I'll show you guys. See? How much foundation come out? There you go. That's how easy it is. So after each use, all you need to do is just push this button right here and just pull it out like that. And you rest your handle onto this thing and that's how it looks like on your vanity. And I'm just going to put this back where it belongs. Click like that. So since I already showed you guys how you know the whole system you know, put together, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the foundation. I love the formula of the foundation, the bronzer, and the blush so much. Talk about the foundation. I am in love with the foundation. It's very different. It's so unique. The foundation itself smells amazing. I don't know. It just smells really nice. Um, it does. It doesn't smell like you know crazy whatsoever. I just I really love the smell. If you ask me, there's a scent to it. Yes, there is a scent to it. I love 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 the scent. And one thing about the foundation is, I since I experienced it, I love the formula of this foundation. It's probably one of the best formula I ever used because one thing. Every time I use a foundation, certain foundation, not all, but majority of the time, after I do my face, my foundation, everything, I use my phone, I put it on my ear like this. How this is how you talk on the phone, duh. But <laughs> but after I use my phone, less than whatever, I take it off and I look at my phone. There will be foundation on it. There will be blush or bronze or whatever it transfers onto my phone which I hated it which is disgusting so much germ this foundation even if I put it on and talk for like hours after I applied the foundation and the bronzer the blush nothing is on my phone nothing that's how crazy it is I love the fact that nothing it doesn't transfer onto my clothes or anything there's one of the amazing thing I love about it and surprisingly, I, f I don't know, like honestly, I don't know if this foundation is water resistant. And the reason why I mentioned this because I experienced it for myself. I have this foundation on and I happened to went to the pool. So I didn't take off my makeup. Actually, I didn't have much makeup on anyways. I, ha I know I have like waterproof um, eyeliner and then I have this foundation on, you know. I didn't expect to go to the pool. So I went anyways. What surprised me that an hour and a half after going swimming and stuff, I left and I look at myself in the mirror, I still have the foundation on. The foundation was still on my face. It did not wash off whatsoever. Even my friend was wondering what the heck. Like, I don't know. It just, I feel like it is water resistant because it does not want to come off and I tried it twice already and it just amazed me you know of course you don't want to wear makeup into the pool or when you go to the beach but it just happened that I had my makeup on and I end up went to the pool um, after because it got so hot I didn't have time to take off my makeup or anything but I just went and that's how I discovered that it's water resistant and I love that part because and it'll just happen if you do want to you know have coverage on your face you don't want to look like whatever and you don't feel unconscious if you don't have makeup on i think this foundation will work great because it does not wash off in water at all unless you rub it off then yeah it'll wash with your you know face wash or um washcloth or whatever then it'll come off but if you're just gonna go swimming stuff and when you get out nothing your makeup doesn't melt or whatever probably eyeliner because you know of course it's gonna be melt like you know gonna be like ooh raccoon eyes but my foundation was perfectly perfectly um on me even afterwards 
So that's the second thing I like about this foundation. Third, I love the long lasting of this foundation. It lasts really long. It lasts like all day, no touch up whatsoever. My face does not feel like it's oily. It lasts really long, maybe because of the primer I'm used, but I know some foundation does give you that dewy look at the end of the day, but this doesn't. It stays really nicely. It doesn't feel like cakey whatsoever. It doesn't matter how much I put on, it still doesn't feel like I have layer and layer of foundation on or anything. And sometimes I didn't have to set it at all and I still fine, you know. It doesn't feel like, you know, it's too dewy. It just looks perfectly on my skin. So that's the third thing. I and for the bronzer and blush, I can't really say much because I I you know I don't really pay attention as much as I pay attention to the foundation, but I know that the bronzer and the blush stay on for a really long time as well. Like I didn't have to like reapply my blush um, like for as for bronzer, I just put it on and it just it's still there. It does not melt off my face at the end of the day. And for the blush, not only that it stay on because after I put apply my blush, I will show you later. I also apply another like um powder um, glow thingy so that you know give me that nice glow so that my blush under stay put all day. But I guess my most main important thing was the foundation. Not only the airbrush system itself, but the foundation itself. I love, love, love the foundation. And for the airpod, you have to buy them individual. Um, it does not come with the airbrush system. You have to um, purchase them individual, especially for the foundation, the um, air, what is it, the bronzer, and the blush. And for the foundation, it's $60, but it comes with two um what is it two pot which one pot like this will last you three months if you use it every single day so when you think about it it's not that pricey at all if you use like three months and every single day that's not bad that's the price is not bad and then um like i said every pot is like um three months last three months if you use every day but if you don't use every day it's gonna probably last you for another three months so last you for like six months so the price not bad and one thing last thing that I have to mention you guys just because you don't have the airbrush system itself that doesn't mean you can't try out the Tim 2 form um, like foundation bronzer and blush formula one thing I love about it is they do come um, in like a brush form of foundation of the bronzer of the blush of the you know um, what is it makeup powder like the finishing powder so that just in case you don't have you know that money to put into the machine itself you can always use you know buy their own their foundation separately which is like in a um, brush form and you just you know pump it out I had it with me but it's you know upstairs or probably in my makeup bag or something and the formula on that is exactly the same thing it's in the pod the reason why um, they have it in the pot is because of the airbrush machine system but for those of you who can't afford the airbrush system at the moment and you do want to use their formula and stuff their products you can feel free to purchase them because they do come you know in like you know uh, what is it the makeup form where you can apply with a brush and everything so you don't have to purchase the airbrush system itself so that's one thing I want to include for you guys just for those of you who don't feel like disappointed that you guys had to go out and spend a ton of money just you know to be able to test out the product itself and one more thing I wanted to mention that if you're new to this and you are interested I say first go out to Sephora or go to any place that have to carry the temp 2 system and ask them to um, show you how to apply on or put um, you know tell them to apply it on your face let's see how you like it and let's see if the formula work for you and if you don't break out from it or whatever I feel like that's just like the best thing to do so that you get a little you know a little idea of how it actually work and how it actually look in person instead of you know just watching through me probably doesn't really do as justice as you went out there for yourself and test it out yourself so when I you know when I recommend like products to people I always tell them to test it out first just in case you don't want to go and waste a bunch of money on it and it doesn't work for you 
so that's my little tip for you guys the end of my review and I love this products and most of you guys know if I don't love a product I wouldn't sit here and you know waste my time waste your time reviewing on a product that I don't think is worth it and I love this product a lot it's definitely become one of my holy grail it's very easy and small to travel one thing that I think it's just ridiculous is the price which is the only thing would hold most people back from buying it but other than that everything like from the airbrush system machine itself to the foundation to the primer the concealer to the uh, all that goodies the formulas are perfect like amazing I love it I can't wait to try out their matte primers I can't wait to try out their concealer and they have the new um, tanning system coming out already like I can't wait to try all those products out but that will probably later when I have you know a chance to purchase them and do reviews and you know try them out and then do another review for you guys but that is my reviews for my time to make up airbrush makeup i hope you guys find it helpful other than that please have any questions leave them down below and i love y'all bye please stay tuned for part two which is going to be a tutorial on how to apply don't forget to check out my previous video please comment rate and subscribe follow me on twitter at tanikab and thanks for watching bye